Lauren Boebert, in a recent interview, answered a question about the bathroom debacle of 2023 between Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lauren Boebert. Apparently, in one of the congressional uh, ladies' rooms, they had a little bit of a back and forth. The story goes, and then we'll get to this um, clip of her, that Marjorie Greene was in a stall, Lauren Boebert was out of the stall, Marjorie Greene walked out, saw her, confronted her, said, not these words, but the energy was, I'm angry at you, why aren't you supporting Kevin McCarthy? And Boebert said, don't be ugly, and then walked out. Um, and so we will see Boebert's telling of this. It's actually similar to what I just told you. And all of this is fascinating because as I will continue to repeat, a divided MAGA is a weaker MAGA. A weaker MAGA is a better America. Take a look. Right out of the gate. What the hell goes on in the ladies' bathroom? <laughs> Okay, so I, I actually kind of um, love that that story came out because of how I was quoted. Um, so yeah, I mean, we're talking in the congressional ladies' bathroom. Um, I'm there with Anna Paulina Luna, and you know, people are upset about what's going on in the speaker's race. Um, it had been a couple of days. We were not electing Kevin McCarthy. We hadn't received the concessions that we wanted, and um, my my colleague um, from Georgia, the gentlewoman from Georgia, um, came up and started, um, you know, being being kind of nasty about it. And no one else had been nasty about it. Everyone had been very professional. Um, I have seen it, it was the most organized I have seen Congress since I've been there in two years. We have that is not a good sign. What we saw on the floor with Kevin McCarthy was the most organized. Yeesh. Had debate on the House floor, 434 members of Congress present. We were engaging in conversations. Relationships were being built and strengthened on both sides of the aisle. It was incredible. Yeah, you remember that relationship that was built when someone nearly physically assaulted Matt Gates because of the screaming match that was going on? He had to be physically restrained. So many bonds being made. Incredible. Um, and so when she started going after me, uh, I looked at her and said, don't be ugly. Because you guys were kind of like BFFs there for a while, weren't you? Or no? But, Am I just, is that just because, you know, the media was I, like, look, two women in Congress I, at the I think, same time. I think the media saw two women in Congress. You know, there was there was nothing against her. Um, we We travel in the same that phenomenon happens for sure um just assuming like oh two women in a similar position of power or whatever they must be besties totally with them though the photo of them both standing screaming at biden during the state of the union and them constantly being photoed together you understand why a narrative of maybe they were close was built same circles right. um have the same policy views on on a lot of things not everything but um on, on many things right. and uh but yeah i i looked at her said i don't have time for this i said don't be ugly and that's something that my granny used to say to me when i was being a brat uh, it's like she, the most inoffensive thing you could yeah, say yeah she think, she'd say way. don't be ugly and uh yeah, probably so how I, I would have responded yeah granny granny told me that a lot though yeah. uh, so <laughs> It's like sounds like a, ver a Colorado version of bless your heart, <laughs> right? Yes. Right? It's yeah, what it sounds like. Lauren, you're being ugly. Okay. Um, so uh, yeah, so I, I left and went went back to work. But gosh, what an amazing first week! I'm just gonna ask. Was she witnessing the same first week that we were? What are you? That was a disaster, uh, Congresswoman Bobert. So the word i don't particularly love using this word because it's used in this manner a lot of times with women um but she described marjorie taylor green as nasty so that's the word of the day uh being slugged being lugged being chucked whatever the word that i want to use it's somewhere in the universe um and i'm not finding it but she's trying to toss not that word um at marjorie green the fact that she was being, in Lauren Boebert's word, nasty. And that's why Lauren Boebert had to take the strong stand of saying, Marjorie, don't be ugly. And then on Twitter, Lauren Boebert just recently tweeted, be kind, don't be ugly, as another jab to Marjorie Taylor Greene. And I will tell you, I do not like people having a conflict-ridden life, I don't like people constantly being in fights with their friends. I don't like strife generally, but I love this. <laughs> it's been very enjoyable because for so long, individuals like Lauren Boebert, Matt Gates, Marjorie Green have directed all of their bonkers 
energy at the left. And we've dealt with that day after day. It's kind of nice to see them directing that at each other, for sure.